Antonio Brown reportedly wants to play in the NFL again. I'm surprised by this because I thought that he had retired from the NFL for good. But I guess he had to change of heart. Here's the problem with Antonio Brown though. He has created so much problems with the Patriots and with the Oakland Raiders. More so with the Raiders, with how he behaved with the whole miss skipping practice and cussing out the GM, Mike Mayock. So he's created a lot of turmoil. And then his off the field discretions too are gonna be a problem for him as well. He has two women accusing him of inappropriate conduct. So that's another issue. So he's definitely not playing this year. Next season, I'm pretty sure there are some teams out there that will express interest in Antonio Brown. But here's the deal. He'll probably be suspended for a few games for these allegations brought forth by these two women. So he's got probably gonna miss some games. He's gonna have to really behave himself if he comes back. Because any team that signs him, they're gonna give him an incentive-laced contract. In fact, it'll be a heavily, and I do mean heavily, incentivized lace contract. And what I mean by that is, he's not gonna get a big time deal. He's not gonna get $30 million up front. No, the contract will be heavily incentivized, meaning he's gonna have to show up to practice and he's gonna have to show up to game. And he'll probably be paid week by week. So I don't see him getting any big guaranteed money up front. It's gonna be one of those type of contracts. If he shows up to practice, if he shows up to the game, he gets paid. If he misses practice, if he throws tantrums, the team will probably be done with him. So he is on very thin ice. I hope if he comes back to the NFL, he behaves professionally, he behaves maturely, and he just shows us why he is a quality wide receiver. Because he's talented, there's no doubt about that. And I've said this many times, he's one of my favorite players to watch. The problem with him is he doesn't con connect himself well on the field or off the field. So he's gonna have to change that. He's gonna have to do a 180. He's gonna have to behave himself. He's gonna have to bond with his teammates. He's gonna have to follow the di directions of his coach, whether he likes it or not. So, so whoever the head coach is, he has to buy into what that coach wants. He can't throw tantrums on the sidelines. He can't publicly disrespect teammates. No verbal bashing. That has to be over and done with. He must definitely revise the image that he has shown to us. Because what we're seeing from him right now is not good. So hopefully he's learning from what he did wrong in the past and he will try to do better. Because if he does, his NFL career will continue. He will continue showing us why he's a great player. And I think he'll be happier. I think him playing football brings him joy. That's part of the reason why he wants to come back. I'm pretty sure money has something to do with it as well. But I think the main reason why is he just loves the game. And like I said, he's skilled, he's dynamic, he's electrifying. The problem with Antonio Brown is, is that he's getting in his own way. I'm also hoping that people close to him are talking to him, like I'm talking to all of you right now. I hope they're saying to him, hey, Antonio, I'm close to you, I care about you, do right. No more getting in trouble. So I hope that his close friends and family members are reaching out to him and telling him that he has to change the way he's behaving because he has literally cost himself millions of dollars. He had a guaranteed $30 million with the Raiders and he let all that money go because he couldn't behave himself. That's not good. And then with the Patriots too, he was doing okay, he was doing a great job. Until he reportedly reached out to one of his accusers, leaving a threatening message to her. I mean, and then the Patriots reportedly got upset about that and let him go. So he has to change the way he does things. If he does, he can continue playing and his career will be extended. If not, I don't see any team wanting to give him a chance. So he'll probably get another chance next year, but he's on thin ice and he needs to realize that. 
hopefully he'll do better and make better choices. Because if not, his career will be done. And he'll be retired, not by his choosing, but by the league saying we're done with you. Hopefully he'll learn from this and try to do better. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Just press that subscribe button below this video because I'll be putting out more content in the future and I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything that I post. So definitely subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.